Metroid Dread Corpius boss fight. Oh, we got some additional gameplay from the upcoming Metroid Dread. So you know what we gotta do. Come on back, cause we gotta check this thing out. Hi, Lee. J Rock hands come back to you too. What is hat and 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 he with the millions <laughs> and millions of J Rock's fans from all over the world? Oh, that's right, baby. J Rock is here, and we got ourselves some new Metroid Dread gameplay from the upcoming uh, Metroid Dread drops later on this year. Uh, J Rock saw the first gameplay, and uh, he's now going to have to get him a Nintendo Switch just to play this one game. Hopefully, there are other games on there that I'll be checking out, but. In the meantime, in between time, let's check out this gameplay. But first, if this is your first time on the Great Wood channel, or you coming back, one more again. Take a second. Hit that subscribe button while they are chanting J-Rock's name. Oh, now that you've hit that subscribe button, take a second. Hit that like button. Comment down below where you found the Great Ones channel and share. Also, any reaction requests or anything you want me to check out, drop a link down in the comment section below. And if I choose your request, I'll give you a shout out. Now let's check out this game. Welcome back to Nintendo Treehouse Live. Uh, I'm Dan, back with Audrey and Teresa again. We're going to go into a little bit more uh, Metroid Dread, deeper into the planet, into this uh, work in progress game and see more of Samus's abilities and uh, maybe see a couple more uh, tough battles. So uh, Teresa, what have you got for us? Yeah, all right. Um, so since the previous segment, uh, we've gotten, uh, we were able to defeat the last Emmy um, and we're on our way. Uh, we got a new ability and so we're gonna showcase that. Um, we're also gonna go a little bit faster in the segment just to show more of Samus's really free flowing movement. Yeah, man, I gotta play so, this. Speaking of that new ability, uh, we now the have hell is a that? spider magnet, uh, which is really cool. Now is oh. uh, allowing us to climb these uh, blue magnetic strips here. So Samus looks pretty darn cool while she's climbing, I must say. Yeah. Just traverse directly from the uh, horizontal to vertical here. And this mm. uh, creature over here is uh, blocking that pathway, and it's getting a little bit more jittery as I get closer to it. That's really creepy. Maybe I can coerce it out. <laughs> Sexy sound. <laughs> Note for, uh, wow. Oh, ho, ho. that was hot. Years. So, this is very, very exciting for, for Metroid fans. Yeah, I like how you countered that worm and shot it. Yeah, so each enemy has like their patterns to learn, so you definitely want to watch and see how you can counter them or if you need to tackle them in a different way. Oh, no. uh -oh. So, this is Corpius. Uh, oh. He is one of the bosses that you'll encounter in Metroid Dread. Uh, we happened to see him uh, very briefly in the first segment. It was, it was the very shimmery uh, creature that was lurking in the background. No longer lurking. No. Yeah, no. Yeah. Lurking. <laughs> oh, crap. That's, see, that's the thing about 2D is that you don't have but so much space to work with. Okay, okay. And of course, as always, you want to keep an eye on your missile counts. <laughs> yeah, so since my missile count's running low, I'm going to use charge beam, which is also effective. Now I'm turned invisible. Yeah, great. What he needed was to be invisible. Mm -hmm. That's I, let me guess, you got a counter. It's a little bit harder to yeah. find its face, but I can try. Otherwise, you can see, yep, so that little glowy point seems to be a weak spot, too. Try to aim for that. The glow shoot it. It's a good maxim for video games in general. Got this. Yeah, 
Okay. Now it's throwing a tantrum, so it broke some of the environment. I see some blue magnetic magnetic strips there, which I could probably use to my advantage. Oh. And now it reared its ugly head and turned to its backside, which is probably its best side. <laughs> it's it's like also rearing for head. something. And yes, that's his way of saying, know, you can okay. kiss my... Nice. Oh. Cinematic, but I am effectively throwing missiles at Corpus's uh, face here. Yeah, it's another one of those really dynamic camera angles there. Yeah, jumping right right into a boss fight. Is a Why are you back? Oh. Uh, okay. Yep. So those magnetic strips were very handy there. Yep. You have to use all of your abilities. Uh, if you're gonna you can dash, right? Oh, okay. You time it right, it'll get stuck up there. Okay. Look like a god of war move, like it's gonna rip his head off or something. Need missiles. One last charge beam for effect. Mm -hmm. Look at Samus. That Samus. beautiful pose. Mm -hmm. Nothing scares Samus. <laughs> Oh, look at that spin right <laughs> through the tail. 10-10. <laughs> nice. You get a really good up there suit here. Yeah, I'd be watching for a moment, too. Like, I'm going to sit down. Yeah. Hold that pose. <laughs> what do we get? Oh, yeah. Phantom, Phantom Cloak. Oh. That's a they need to have the music with it too. It is uh, an AI ability. And for some of you, I don't know if it's a good ability. And for some of you at home who have played Metroid Samus Returns may recognize Aeon abilities, but these are brand new and they play very differently in Metroid Dread. Yeah, we play new Aeon abilities and this one actually uh, it's more of an endurance gauge, so it fills up over time. But you really, really want to keep a close eye on it, because the last thing you want is for your phantom cloak to just disappear when you really need it. Yeah, so let's let's actually showcase it here. So before, I wasn't able to go through these doors. Um, they're called presence doors. But now, with the phantom cloak, I'm able to move, progress through them. Um, I am moving a lot slower with the phantom cloak. And as you can see, the energy gauge right underneath is slowly decreasing but as I move it decreases even faster and once it's depleted it starts taking away from my health so I have to deactivate it um, I can replenish it really quickly by moving and then only then can I reactivate it again oh that's hot that's hot I like that
just sing it. Oh, those flying guys can be such a nuisance when you're trying to get across. Oh, them. they can be. We handled them very readily. Yeah, you made it look easy. <laughs> Woo! Now flamethrowers. <laughs> Make that look easy. Get away from me. <laughs> nice. Uh, this is really cool. So um, we're still in the area of Arteria, which is the very beginning part of the game. And this is a feature, which is an elevator that allows you to uh, travel to different parts of planet CDR. Um, so now we're moving to Cataris. And as you can see in the map, um, this game plays very differently where you start from the center core of the planet and you're working your way up all the way to Samus' ship, so um, it is a very different feeling. It really builds up on the, uh, do I say dread? <laughs> Isolation? <laughs> it really does. It showed you had kind of a long way to go to the surface there too. Mm -hmm. That little dot at the top was ship. No, that suit looks badass. Yeah, I can't even lie. Also enjoy for a minute in this game. Oh yeah, not at all. These enemies are different too. Uh, as you can see, their counter is very uh, different. Um, um, but they are really cool. Very satisfying to counter. Uh, and that place Ooh. is very hot. We don't have an upgrade for that yet. So we'll have to come back. Oh, I remember those in Super Metroid. Explore it when we do have an available an ability to explore it. So... Ah, that looks like an area. Oh, and yes. When in doubt, rush here. <laughs> Dark one. Sneaky. No. Ah. Oh. You never underestimate the little enemies. They mm -hmm. can really mess you up. They can, especially those. They're very, ooh, very agile. You can see as you learn the enemy's patterns, you can see tells for when they're about to attack a lot of times, and that'll help you know when to counter. I really love the dash melee ability. Mm -hmm. It allows me to effectively get uh, rid of some enemies really quickly. So this is another room, uh, communication room uh, where we'll be able to communicate with Adam, and I kind of want to make it clear too that uh, Adam is uh, Samus's uh, ship's computer. Uh, we're going to skip through this area really quickly and have Dan kind of summarize what uh, Adam says, but Adam is just a point for lore, uh, does not do e give any direction to Samus. It is up to the player to choose where they want to na navigate and where to explore. But yeah, yeah we're only cutting away because we don't want to give away any juicy lore tidbits. Yeah. Yeah. And basically he was just talking about how this area is sort of the thermal power for um, the, the planet and um, by redirecting that power you can potentially open up other areas and he also had a few little tidbits about the phantom cloak which we we already knew about how that gauge worked thanks to Teresa's explanation In the background, you can see magma flowing through some of those pipes, but not the others. Yeah, all of these pipes are very interesting. This mysterious door opened up, too. Yeah. <laughs> Here's an interactable, which allows... So this area of Cataris uh, controls the magma uh, flow of the planet. So we're able, through these interactables, uh, change the flow to access other areas. So now because we changed the thermal flow, we're not able to backtrack to where we were. So find a different path. Mm. There's such a niche touch that something we were just talking about in the background actually has a uh, gameplay component. Mm -hmm. And 
Nice. Yo, this game looks like a lot of fun. Teresa is very well aware. There's such a, a diverse uh, amount of life in this, in this world. So many different kinds of alien creatures that maybe not when they're mercilessly attacking you, but it's really neat otherwise to see such a different uh, alien creatures. Like Shawn Michaels in WrestleMania, right? Fight. So this door leads to another Emmy zone. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna that sense of dread you're feeling is very warranted. <laughs> well, I feel it. Really, I feel it. Oh, I'm another little beeping. Ah, those That's blue though, right? Oh, he's yeah, cloaked. So Samus has been able to use the Phantom Cloak to her advantage by escaping uh, this Emmy, and this Emmy can crawl through tight spaces, so. It's pretty formidable. Um, yeah, really liking that Phantom Cloak about now. Okay, I need to not be hearing those beeps. They yeah. scare me. <laughs> oh. Ooh. Freaking Terminator type thing. Uh, see, it, it heard that noise, and so it's now in yellow mode. Ooh. Well, well used Phantom Cloak there. <laughs> That saved your tail. Oh, yeah. See the mini map, the little red dot is the Emmy. It is still nearby. I... Making sure that it doesn't hear me. Okay. We're good. Oh, oh auto tool. Oh, no. Listen to me. Because I wanted to give you some items. Okay. Maybe I didn't call the Emmy to my... No? Oh, why? Oh. Blend in with the background. Yeah, I I need these guys to just go away. <laughs> Getting some good missile stuff. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Alright. I have the spider magnet ability. I should just use it. Alright. Let's see. There's nothing here. Sounds like Woo! Oh, Damn it! Oh. get up close and personal, it's not going to be in your favor most of the time. The fact that you can replenish it just by moving is pretty cool. So when you have to run and escape, that'll fill it back up for you. That's like those damn uh, sentinels from the Matrix. Sentinels. You need a. You need a. Oh, I bet you can get it. Uh, a EMP. Uh, thing in this game. Skip that cutscene. It's glorious. I've already seen it. Got business. I bet that's what they give you. Okay, 
maybe I, I, I can outrun it. Uh, open faster, please. <laughs> okay. Alright. Awesome. Alright, so <laughs> here's the sound's a gone. <laughs> <laughs> so, so redirecting the thermal fuel. Let's follow it. See where it goes. Yeah, you can actually follow that pipe in the background and see what you've done. <laughs> oh, oh no. Damn it. Oh, ah, I gotcha. Wow. Gotcha. No. Sentinels. No. Oh, that's what it reminds me of. Those damn sentinels. Ah, oh, here comes the dread. Yes. So vicious. Okay, so stopped here, which is good. He's gonna be more cautious to make sure he's not anywhere near me. Nice. When you get out of the Emmy room, you feel so safe, but then it's deceiving. <laughs> it is deceiving, yes. And you're going to have to go back in there several times. Uh -huh. <laughs> I don't want This was a linear <laughs> progression. Ooh. Is it hot? Or are they protecting you? Okay. Nice. Yo, that ability is is, is hot. No them. pun intended. Yeah. yeah, they are only trouble if you leave them there. You learn that pretty quick. <laughs> See any more? Terribly frightening to us, but this is just a matter of due course for Samus. She has been through a lot, and it's just a testament to how amazing she is that she has survived all of it. Yeah, and even if you may be new to the franchise, it's totally okay because the game does a really great job at giving you um, a summary of what has transpired before. Um, so it's really. Um, pretty good easy to pick up especially if this is your first game um, in the series um, and also if you don't know who Samus is but you know maybe Samus the fighter in Super Smash Brothers Ultimate same character yeah find out how she earned her stripes <laughs> oh hell uh, uh, no. on the other side we're going through to the other side Edition version of this game. There it is, and it's 
glory. Yeah, in all of its glory, you get a steel book with the game included, of course, and five art cards and an art book, which is really exciting. They chronicle Samus's adventures in the 2D games. So, like we said, whether you are a longtime fan of Samus and her adventures in Metroid, or you're new to the series, this is a great way to either celebrate your fandom or kind of get up to speed before you play the game. So. It's really neat, and yeah. here it is. Yeah, all that and the game. So mm -hmm. it's really, really cool. Yes, yeah, so uh, it really has great. something for everyone. Action. J Rock says this. Uh, definitely can't wait to play this game. Those damn beep 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 beep, beep things. They remind me of them damn Sentinels from the Matrix. Um, and I'm I bet they'll you're gonna get some sort of like EMP ability in this in this game, which is suit maybe a grenade, a shot something that will might temporarily disable them or something like that but uh we gotta wait and see post your comments down below let jay rock know what you thought of his reaction to this video no rhyme intended on that line and if you enjoyed the great ones reaction hit that like button subscribe and share if you did not take a stroll down know your road boulevard hang that right on jabroni drive and check your rude poo candy ass into the smackdown hotel and be sure to hit that bell so you can be notified when it is time to be electrified. Thank you for joining Jay Rock. Until next time. Mamba, Gigi, and Wakanda. If you swear, what Jay Rock is.